by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb. I've been redeemed, I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, filled with the Holy Ghost I am. All my sins are washed away, I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed, I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb. I've been redeemed, I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, filled with the Holy Ghost I am. All my sins are washed away, I've been redeemed. I'm practicing. You know that that whole thing with positive thinking, I think that came from God. I think when we put out positive words, I think God accentuates those. Um, don't know if you guys are familiar with, I think you could just look up the rice experiment. Um, my brother Adam and I were talking about this before I even saw this experiment. And then True Stream Media, uh, they went and put it out. And it just shows that I think there's actual power in our words. I think there's negative power and there's positive power. And there's godly power. Um, yeah. I was feeling kind of down. I should have made the video when I was feeling down. Because I just wanted to let everyone know that uh, the devil comes to seek, kill, and destroy everything. He comes to seek, kill, and destroy your happiness, your joy, your friendship, your love, your mental stability, your caringness, anything that is positive, he comes to destroy. Um, I'll share something real, real small with you guys here. I'm trying to make smaller videos so they actually upload, you know, within 36 hours. Um, the devil messed with me all the time. Uh, people that have passed from my life that I can no longer make amends with, the devil holds that over my head. Um, I should have been, I just, I should have been nicer to my dog. I really, really miss my dog. I should have been nicer to my dog. I should have been nicer to my little sister who's not around anymore. I should have been nicer to you know other other folks that I come in contact with. The devil holds that over your head. You can't do anything about that. The devil knows that. He thinks he's smart. He holds that over your head and tries to make you feel guilty. You've been redeemed. God has redeemed you. You're forgiven. You ask him for forgiveness and you're forgiven. The devil can't keep holding things over your head your whole life, especially if it's impossible for you to fix them. That's one of his cons that he does. Um, I can make other things better. I can treat people around me better. I can treat my wife better. She's there. She's, she's here with us. I can do everything that I can to make a... Her know that I love her. Um, same with my friends. Um, all my brothers and sisters watching. I'm here for you guys as well. I can't make up for past uh, sins and regresses there. But I can just move forward. And that's what God wants us to do is just move forward. Repent is very important. Ask Him for your forgiveness. Tell Him what you did wrong. Acknowledge what you did wrong. Acknowledge your sin. That way it sticks in your mind as well. And uh, He'll forgive you. And you move on. You move on. Don't let all those little demons keep holding on to your, your ankles, dragging them around. I love you guys. All right, bye.